Hello? Are we on the prom? Absolutely. And we're on the prowl. I'm Kieran Gallico, and this is Kevin Whitaker, executive editors for Sport at the Daily Princetonian. There were a couple of big basketball games this weekend, and Kevin was at both, taking a look, seeing what was up, and uh, let's see what he had to say. Saturday was senior night for the men's basketball team at Jadwin Gymnasium, and those two seniors stepped up big time. Tigers beat Columbia by 30 points on the road two weeks ago, but today they were battled in a tough contest, back and forth throughout much of the second half. Lee changed hands a number of times until senior Dan Mavrady stepped up in the final three minutes. A couple baskets, a couple assists, a lot of big plays down the stretch. And Princeton went to a 66-61 victory. 20 points and 8 assists for Kareem Maddox, another senior in the win. At almost the same time the game ended, word came that Yale beat Harvard 70-69, giving the Crimson its second loss and putting the Tigers back on top of the Ivy League. Princeton beat Cornell in a much easier game last night. 84 to 66 the final, the most points Princeton scored in the league game in since 2000. With the victories, Princeton improved to 12-0 at home this season. We're here now with senior forward and co-captain Kareem Maddox of the men's basketball team. So to start, Kareem, obviously now you're at the top of the league with three games left, still very much in the league race. What's it like to be in that position here in your senior year? Um, it's great. Um, we've come a long way since I got here as a freshman. Um, so. Uh, to still be in it and to, I guess, have something to play for. You know, you always play to win, but um, to have our goal clearly in mind and ahead of us uh, going into these last three games is a, is a great feeling, and um, the team's really excited about it, of course. And, uh, you know, just, just kind of trying to stay focused in practice uh, is the important thing and, um, you know, not look past any teams and try to get to the NCAA tournament. For most of the season, you've been playing big minutes, but coming off the bench, is it sort of did it take any getting used to to sort of be in that role? It's not a role that most teams have. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I've come off the bench for you know, I came last year off the bench, and uh, so it's kind of something I got, I've gotten used to, and it's a you know, it's all about comfort level in basketball. So uh, you just want to come in and make an impact. So it, it, that was really important to me, and uh, you know, I think this provide a little bit of spark. Um, because you don't always start off a game. You know, I'm not a shooter, obviously, but um, you know, being able to get in, get some easy buckets, some layups, uh, and everything, I think that just helps everyone out. It's a nice. You guys have balanced scoring. Four guys who can carry the load at least on any given night. Is it nice to sort of know that it's not all in you? There are other guys who can step up. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think we've ever been a team that has relied solely on one guy. You know, I, I think that's kind of uniform throughout the Ivy League. Um, you don't get those those big guys that. You score you know, 20, 25 points a game. Um, so yeah, it, it's a kind of a trust thing, and we all you know trust each other. Um, we know Dan, Doug, we get out of them, uh, great shooters, and Ian uh, on any given night can go off, um, you know, pretty well. So um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I just I think it's a tribute to our team and the, the developments we've made and the, the progress. Uh, so there's been some talk on Twitter after yesterday's game. Uh, after a dunk, you uh, threw down a little championship belt. Uh, now, how big is that championship belt? <laughs> it's uh, it's it's pretty. It's probably the size of Triple H's. Um, really? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's pretty big. But I don't know. I just thought I'd throw it out there for senior night. You know, I don't don't do a lot of that stuff. So I had to get one in to uh, look back on in future years. Now. Uh, you clearly like to dunk and do it well. If there's anybody in the Ivy League or any team that you can dunk on, I mean, just really go to town. Which team would it be? Which team do you, have you always wanted to just like slam it down in their in their in their arena? In their gym, it'd have to be the Palestra. Um, I think you're gonna get me in trouble, but <laughs> <laughs> probably the Palestra. Yeah, you know the Princeton Penn rivalry is a big yeah. one, and that game's always packed, and their fans are uh, not nice. <laughs> put it lightly. So, uh, you know, if I can get a dunk at the Palestra in my senior year, then you might be seeing the belts again. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, thanks a lot for joining us, Kareem. Um, good luck next week and on the road, and hopefully things will be looking up for you guys. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. So we turn to some other sports. The biggest news on campus was women's hockey team. 
at Baker Rank playing ECAC quarterfinals against Quinnipiac. How'd that one go, Kevin? Well, the Bobcats of Quinnipiac struck for a game-winning goal in the final five seconds of game one. Real heartbreaker. Princeton sort of seemed to have the game going to overtime on Friday. Game two, Princeton gave up a second period goal, couldn't recover, ended up losing 2 nothing with an empty net goal late. It's the fifth time in five years that Princeton's been eliminated in the quarterfinals. And the, uh, the men's squash team with a tough defeat to Yale, uh, they'll be playing in the uh, playoff match in a couple of hours. But uh, sort of a downer end of the season, but you know they've, they uh, sent off their seniors well. And definitely a lot to look forward to in the coming years with uh, Chris Callis and Todd Harity still at the helm. They did. And the individuals will be interesting to watch. Number one, Todd Harity. Number two, Dave Letourneau still have yet to lose a match this year. So that should be interesting. And the uh, women's tennis team at uh, Penn State for the last few days. Uh, a tough loss yesterday. They'll be, pl uh, they'll be playing Penn State today. They lost to VCU. Uh, and, you know, the, uh, both, both tennis teams are a bit of an interesting case. They seem to peak uh, during the Ivy season, and that's still their goal. Obviously, no one likes to lose, but... Uh, they look they look to be in top form in the next couple of weeks and uh, should hopefully be seeing some repeat championships in the Ivy League. But um, and uh, the men's hockey team with a couple of big games this weekend too. Uh, yep, at Upstate New York, closing the season at Union and RPI, split those games, ended up tied for fourth in the conference standings with the tiebreaker. I believe they'll be the fifth seed in the ECAC tournament. They'll host the quarterfinal game here at Baker Rink next week. And uh, so that's this week in sports. Uh, we'll be back next weekend to uh, talk more about the basketball team. And uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll be seeing some big moves. Uh, you know, if, if the basketball team wins the Ivy League, uh, I will give myself a mohawk and dye it a crazy color on, on the prowl. And I promise you that. And it will be amazing and really awesome. So definitely tune in for that in a couple of weeks. I got my fingers crossed for the team. Uh, and that's on the prowl. See you in a bit.